Welcome to Strings Attached, our mother-daughter knitting podcast. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And I don't know what episode this is. I think 18 maybe? Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, if you're just now, uh, if you're new to us and just not joining us, welcome. And if you've watched our other podcasts and you're not new to us, then welcome back. <laughs> so I guess um, we have a lot of knitting today, but mm, yeah, we have some crocheting. Yeah, but no little, sewing. Yeah, no sewing. <laughs> I haven't got to sew for a week or two. Oh, you've been mm. knitting. Yeah, I've been knitting and, and crocheting. Keep, and keeping my babies for me. That's true. <laughs> that keeps me busy. <laughs> yeah, me too. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I will start with what we're wearing. I'll okay. start. I'm wearing the Soldatna. It's a pattern by Caitlin Hunter. I knitted this last spring, so it's almost been a year. Not quite. But it's knit with all Cascade 220. Um, and merino, different. I think I used, some of them were like the worsted, light worsted weight, and then some of them were sport weight, but I just kind of adjusted my needle size, I think, and just made it work because I wanted certain colors. But yeah, I really like it. The only thing I, I don't like about this is I ran out of yarn on my sleeves, and I would have liked to make the sleeve cuffs a little bit longer because I, I don't like how they like poke out, and I, I kind of feel like I'm wearing sleeveless and like tank top. <laughs> Which I don't really like to wear tank tops, so it makes me feel a little bit exposed. Oh, yeah, if you just had it come this way. Yeah. yeah. So at the time, I just wanted it done. I didn't want to order mm -hmm. more, so I just mm -hmm. finished it. But mm -hmm. since then, I have ordered the same color again. I used it in my little pine tree hat. Oh. So okay. I have like you have some a half of a skein left. So I think I might take this out, maybe, and add like that much more ribbing so that it... And maybe on a smaller needle so it kind of like grips my arm. Because I would like for it to kind of like sit on me like that. Well, do you have a dark gray? Uh, yeah, I have some dark gray. I mean, you could put, you could, like your little pattern here, you could continue with an inch of dark gray. Oh, that's true. I don't know if I want to rip my ribbing out, though. If I if I just ripped out the, the cast off, okay. then I would just start at the ribbing. and. But. Yeah, and you'd have to put those little pink dots that are on there, too. No. The fat I mean, it, not on the you, arm. No, I mean, if you, oh, if you did the solid gray dark gray oh i see yeah no i wouldn't want that yeah. much solid yeah i just want some more of that glacier gray i think in a mm -hmm. but, and I, but i do like how i trimmed it in the dark so i'd still cast off with the dark gray yeah i think i just want like that much more sleeve <laughs> so because i'm not gonna wear this in the summer no, i mean it's, it's too hot yeah so yeah i don't mind wearing it inside in the winter but you it's an odd, short sleeve is an odd thing. I like it, it's cute, mm. but it's it's hard to well, find a good time to wear it. Spring would be good. With mine, I think what I'll do, because I've seen people doing it, is I'm gonna wear a long sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. Plus yours is a longer sleeve than No, I mean way. my Soldatna. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's different, it's a little bit longer. Sleeve. But your Soldatna that I made you fits you better than this yeah, one fits it me. Does. This one's just, I should've just made the size up. This is the first color work sweater I've ever made. And I just didn't know. Yeah. That you, I just should have added a little bit more ease into my, yeah. into my, like, Seems like it takes one to know what, how to make that pattern. Right. <laughs> Second one, got it. Right. So, and also, I made this when I was pregnant. So, I was kind of like, oh, I'm not going to be this big whenever. <laughs> but, you know, now that goes. So, <laughs> I lost all that weight yet. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm wearing. I love it. It's just a little too small and I'd like for the sleeves to come down a little longer, but great pattern and a really nice soft yarn. So, okay. What are you wearing? <laughs> I am wearing the Felix that I've, I've worn it before. Felix cardigan. Felix cardigan. Short sleeve. Yep. And there's the little jobbies. Yep. Anyway. It wasn't a short sleeve pattern, but she got that far, and I was like, Mom, you should stop there. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, I like it. And I actually, I don't I don't think you should have did it long sleeve. Mm -mm. I like it like that, because you really yeah, cool. I wish I would have did it long sleeve. Well, I haven't really worn it as much in the winter, but I but could. We're just not I don't used know to know why. It. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, indoors. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like it's freezing indoors. I don't know. I, I don't really have, I guess, just jeans. I don't have a whole lot to wear with it, I guess. It looks Maybe great. It would it. look great with jeans. Yeah. Yeah. If that's what I'm wearing. Yeah. And that is by... Um, Savory knitting. And then the yarn you used was an Encore tweed. Tweed. Yep. From a long time ago stash. I still have a bunch of it left. Yeah. I probably have enough of that to make another one if I wanted to. No, wait. Was that Encore tweed? No, that was coffee beans. Wasn't it? That was coffee beans. Maybe. I but I think that it's, a, it's an Encore. I didn't think about getting that out. It's an Encore um, yarn. Plymouth Encore. Coffee beans. Coffee beans. That's what it is. 
I don't think they Worsted have Worsted weight with what size of needle? Oh, What'd you use? Tens. Okay, well, that's what I use. Yeah. Use whatever the pattern yeah. called for. Um, yeah, that's, that's one really good thing about that pattern is it's mm -hmm. big needles. Um, it's fast. That yarn, Coffee Beans, is on closeout, or it was last time I looked. Really? Mm hmm They have different colors, but I'm not going to buy it because that's that same brand and yarn that, that is, made that, me A lot of things do that to me, year. so I don't know. Yeah, but whatever. Sorry if you hear my dog. She's like roaming around, snorting and trying to find things on the ground to chew on, if you hear her. <laughs> she's a noisy little dog. She has a little smushed up nose and she snores and pants. And she's old. <laughs> yeah. So, and she can't hear or else I'd tell her to stop, but she can't hear me, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what we're wearing. And I guess now we'll go to Ethos. So speaking of the Felix cardigan, I got mine done. Here she is. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it good. So it's got these pretty little um, lacy raglan. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to see. I was gonna say maybe show yours. They're like this, maybe. Let's just take it off of there. I want to show it. All right. So I've showed these before, but I love this. This is my favorite part of this sweater. I just really like the the way that the raglan was built. It was built on these little eyelets. And um, I used Wool of the Andes Tweed from Knit Picks in whoop, Barn Door Heather is the colorway. And the buttons are just um, wood buttons. I think they were a Lamode brand from Joanne Fabrics. But yeah, it worked up real. This yarn is so pretty. And it's a good price yarn too. It's not super Which expensive. Which buttons did you use? Just wooden ones. Okay. Well, I bought the same ones that... Um, yeah. I knew that, you did, but I didn't Yeah. Know. So I bought those, and then I realized those are actually plastic. They look wood, but they're plastic. And my mother-in-law is who I, make, who I made this for. She really likes, like, natural stuff. Yeah, real things. So that's why I wanted to make her a wool, 100% wool sweater, and then I wanted natural wood buttons. So that's why I went with these. But, yeah, they're really, they're really pretty. I really like them. And then I used, I tried to use some, like, coordinating thread, but it's a little bit more red. But from a distance, you can't really tell. No, it, it looks, looks like more, the same yeah. from a distance. Yeah, but it's just a little bit more brick red than the, but it's what I had. Yeah, that's all right. So, I don't keep a whole, I don't have a whole probably, thing of thread like you I do. I probably had that color. <laughs> I know, but I was at my house, not here, so. <laughs> anyway, it is done. I had a, I had a hard time getting this sweater done because it's a cardigan and I don't know how to steak. And I didn't want to try to learn right now, so I had to knit it back and forth, back and forth. You know, knit pearl, knit pearl, which I don't like the pearl, so it took me forever. But it is finally done. And I got it over here and put it on the mannequin. And mom said, you missed a buttonhole. So you can see that I did not space my buttons evenly. Um, I did what the pattern said to do. I measured from here down and did exactly what they said. Measured from here up, did exactly what they said. And then tried to evenly space these buttons here. But whoop, there we go. This button should have been like right there. <laughs> it's hard when you're making the holes and yes. you're getting to get the get it just right in well, the right little section. I honestly I can't stand putting button bands on sweaters unless the pattern is I can't I hate it unless the pattern is like you know knit this many and then put a buttonhole. I don't want it to be like use your ruler and measure and try to evenly space. I don't want to do that. Sometimes because it doesn't you, end up in the, the right. You want it to be in those little middle ridges, and sometimes it doesn't do no, that. No, and it never lays right. Like, you lay it out, and you try to measure it, but, you know, if you slightly stretch it at all, it's long, it's a, it's a an inch or so longer than, I mean, if you just barely slightly stretch it. So how, I mean, I try to lay it, like, you know, without stretching it, but then as you're measuring it, it moves, and as you're putting the buttonholes in, you know, you're like, oh, I think maybe it's this row I'm supposed to put the hole, but... I don't know, maybe I should go one more row. It doesn't look exactly the same as this. It's a little bit shorter. And then you do it and then it's messed up. So I just don't, I don't like patterns that leave it up to me to measure where the buttonhole is. I just, I just You'd don't. You'd rather do a pull. I just want to knit in the round. I don't want to put a button on anything. But cardigans are really nice. <clears throat> and, you know, it's a totally different look. And I understand that, you know, they're nice to wear and stuff. But I don't like to knit them before. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make her a cardigan, so that's what I did. But I think it's going to be too big on her, unfortunately, because it fits me, like, perfectly, and I'm a lot bigger than her. So... But it'll be a roomy sweater. It'll be, definitely be big on her and slouchy. I think, I mean, I think she'll still like it and still wear it. But I might make her something else. Because I've had my eyes on something anyway for a long time, and I think she'd really like it. So I'm going to talk about that when I talk about my future dream knits. Future dream. I'm still gonna give this okay. to her. She'll still she'll still wear wear it and like it. Yeah. 
but it just, I think I want to make her something that really fits her good. Yeah. And I don't feel bad about like, that I didn't get it right. I want to make her something that really is for her, mm -hmm. you know? So anyway, that's my first FO. And then my second FO, I showed this last time, but I have it totally completed now. My little, um, I can never think of the name of this pattern. Baby Snowflake Hat with Pom Pom by um, Callista U. And I've added the pom pom. I, I cut it down because last time I, sh I showed you guys it was humongous. So I cut it down and I've blocked it and, you know, got it all sewn up. And yeah, it's really cute. So these are for my, this is for my girls. Alice has the bigger head right now. So it's for her because the other hats that I originally made them, they've, you know, no, moved up. She, so yeah. I gave Maggie Alice's hat and I knitted a new hat for Alice. <laughs> we'll just rotate like yeah. that. Oh, well, that'll probably Until be your last, over. yeah, yeah. Like next fall would be your next hat. So. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all my FOs. You got any FOs? Oh, yeah, kind of. Well, kind of. Most of mine's just work, stuff I'm working on. This is a whip slash FO. These, uh, Mallory Thanks. showed hers. She made a bunch one time. And she said she was going to leave them with me so I can make some. So, I got three. Because I, I don't. Crocheting is just not my favorite thing. Oh my gosh, I and hadn't seen I that. have a hard time getting ears straight. Oh, I hadn't seen the pig. And look, the ear on the bunny is not exactly straight. <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's adorable. Anyway, the bunny and the kitty cat. Mm -hmm. And then on so hers, um, she knits a lot tighter, which actually is neater looking. And yet, it's crochet. I mean crochet. But um, you knit tighter, too, so bad. <laughs> she crochets a lot tighter, so I, I, I had to put a single crochet all around the one she made to make them fit mine <laughs> so that they would go together and because you know, so like show that. what show what happens yeah so you put them all together yeah so this is the zookeeper's blanket by justine whaley it's and, really cute I think yeah it'll be cute i don't know it looks like a wall hanging to it's me. like 30 different animal mm -hmm. heads and you yeah Every other background is gray and white, gray, white, gray, white. So I've got, I think, I made the flamingo and the fish, the crab, the frog, and the bird, and the cow, I think. Those are the ones I made. And then mom's got these three. So quite a few left to make. And This is my next one. I've got it partially done. Oh, the fox. Yeah, the fox. You could even make that with. Oh, how, you, have you already got the fox part started? No, I'm just, I have, I'm just on the. On the white? White and the You gray. could even make I'm the. Gray. Um, the fox instead of being brown you can make it like peach yeah peach yeah. like all the other fox stuff yeah I make it more girly looking i guess because my girl's room is all in like peach foxes yeah so that'd be cute yeah i could do that i probably have that you know i don't probably yeah. don't have that color anyway <laughs> i think that that'll be cute to like lay on the floor i think we'll just back it in flannel or something and then just fleece, lay on the maybe a fleece yeah or a minky or something mm -hmm. like that. yeah a minky would be good and just lay it on the floor and let them just play because i think they'll like to like Maggie yeah, especially. Maggie likes to feel the textures. Yeah, she like scratches stuff. So <laughs> I think she'll like that. Yeah. And it's all yarn, so it's not like any of those are buttons and they're going to pop off and choke yeah. them or anything. Yeah. They're all sewn down. So They're all sewn down. Anyway, Mom's working on it because I'm kind of not in a crochet mode right now. I've been crocheting, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's going to show some crochet whip mm -hmm. action going on over there. All right, so you don't have any other FOs? No. Okay. I don't really. Well, we only did this because you got your stuff. Yeah, we, we normally wait. I didn't have bit. anything done. We normally wait a little bit longer between podcasts, but I finished my Felix, so I was really excited to give it. Oh, I want to give it to Liz because it's supposed to be a Christmas gift. Yeah. So I was like, let's just do a podcast and like we'll talk about what we have, even though it's not that much stuff, and I could show my Felix. Yeah. So okay, I guess we'll go to whips then. Oh, I mean, you want to do yours? I have a really exciting whip. I can't help it. I gotta go. I gotta go first. So I am. I started the nurtured sweater it's by andrea mowry and i'm gonna make it longer because i don't really like crop stuff that well and it's gonna be knitted in um cascade yarns 220 heathers and this is not a super wash i don't think it's just a regular wool and this is the iridescence colorway so i got my you start from the bottom up and you start with the sleeves That's so really Really good to have those sleeves done. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I've never done that before. So here's my first sleeve. So you can see the like, it almost looks like, um, she calls it a honeycomb, but I think it looks like mermaid. Like mermaid. Yeah, I can see where she calls it honeycomb, but yeah, it kind of looks like scales. Yeah, like a mermaid tail. <laughs> so it's a really, really fun um, little stitch that you do. It's like every other row you do that, you make that slip slip stitch look and it just I don't know I've never made anything like this before it's super hmm. super fun 
So that's my first sleeve and I had to make it like four inches longer than the pattern. <laughs> Cause I mean, I haven't blocked it or anything, but blocking doesn't add that much length. And she said to make it, I think 18 inches. I mean, that was like down to here. I mean, it would have been like. Well, but it's a little crop sweater. A lot of times they are shorter. Yeah, but not on her. I mean, her sleeves look, she's just little. She's just a little person. So anyway, I mean, they might, by the time I block them, they might be humongous monkey arms, but you know, I'll just roll them up a little bit because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want them to be too short because then I really won't. I well, does like the them. shoulder seam, is it up here? Is it? Yeah, I think it was from the underarm. Oh, the underarm. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure okay. that's where, because I was reading like, oh man, like that 18 inches, that's not going to work. And then I was like, well, maybe it does, maybe, you know, maybe you, but no, I think it's oh. from the underarm down. Okay. So, well, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I didn't misunderstand, but there's my first sleeve. Did that. Took me a week. I was working on the Felix, but it took me a week to make that one sleeve. And then, because it's kind of, it's not just knit, 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 knit. You got to like do this little pattern. And it's not hard, but you do have to think about it. So, here's my other sleeve. And I'm almost done with it. I've only yeah. got like two inches left. Then you can start at the bottom with the sweater. Yeah. So, I uh, <laughs> wasn't paying attention when I did my second sleeve. And I got my, the first sleeve I did, I like got perfectly. Every time one of these is here, I had to increase. Mm -hmm. So I um, got too far apart a couple times. And so I had to, at the top, I had to like hurry up and like bunch a bunch of increases all together. That's something I would do. <laughs> but I'm not worried about it because <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I mean, it will be you'll fine. never notice. Mm -mm. And you can't see them. The increases don't show up on the scene. So, and I'm working with my little yarn bowl and my cake. This is the best. I mean, I cannot believe we have I don't not. have to get one of those. I still haven't got one of Birthday. Yeah, but the cake, the caked yarn. Oh, yeah. How we went this long without having that? Yeah, not my We were just always rolling them up in balls and yanking on them because <laughs> yeah. they roll down in the bottom of the bag. I mean, that you don't even have to pull on that. It just comes out until mm -hmm. you're, until yeah, you're at no, the end. I loved it. Oh, Mine, the, the cake, the first one I used, I mean, it just goes all the way to the end. I know. It doesn't without get a knotted single, up. Without a single pull or anything. That makes life so much better. <laughs> you needed that when you did your weekender with that crazy yarn that I pulling. did. Well, we didn't know. Live and learn. Yeah. Live and learn, people. That was. I kind of bad mouthed that yarn a little bit. But actually, my sweater, I love the sweater. You didn't really bad mouth it. You were just saying. I was just saying. It's funky. But it's really light. Yeah. It's not super hot. You know, I don't burn up in well, it. So the yarn is. Um, the yarn is wonderful. It's just easy to break. It's um, Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. That's what but she used, and that's like what the pattern calls for. Like she said, if I had uh, rolled it up in a cake, you would never, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't even known it because it kept breaking it. Because it, it'd get in a ball and be in the bottom of her bag, and she yeah. pull on it, and the yarn would just come yeah. apart. Yeah, that was my. Because the yarn isn't like spun; it's like mushed together. It's bizarre. It looks a little bit like yarn you would make your. Maybe I envision people made themselves, oh, just what? barely spun together. <laughs> It didn't even look twisted to me. It looked just like matted together like a dreadlock. It really looks pretty when it's done. I love it. And I love Jamie's. Mm -hmm. Cozy Up Knits done, what, two or three? Yeah. All hers are really pretty. And that's the yarn she that them. Andrea Mowry says to use in that pattern. Yeah, that's what she said. So I'm going to use that yarn for something, too, which I will talk about here in a minute. I have a lot of future knits to talk about. Today. Okay, so I need to go on to whips. Okay. <laughs> I am making, which I talked about last week, knitting. Pure and simple. I have to look at it every time. Beginner cable pullover. Hers don't have like names. They're just whatever they By, are. By who is it? Uh, knitting pure and simple. I think it's Diane Salsi. Is it is Diane Salsi. I think it is. So it's got the cable on the little seed stitch. Don't show too much of the. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not supposed <laughs> to do that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I've got I'm I've got the sleeves off. I'm on cool. the body. Go you. I haven't like seen her. like this. Wow. So you're on the body. Yeah, I'm on the body. Wow, it looks great. Yeah, stretch yeah, stretch out that front. Yeah, you help me put the pull the top up and I'll stretch it out. So you have to go back and put the neckband on later. Yeah. That's why it, it looks, looks kinda like loose. It won't be though, it'll cinch in. And there's my little cable. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, you got the seed stitch. Mm hmm Yeah, fun. Yeah. Oh. And then there's cable down the so pretty. the sleeve also. Yep. Yeah. So that's the cloud worn mm -hmm. uh superwash merino. Mm-hmm. Cool. And I've got it in my little cake. cake. <laughs> okay. So my other thing is a crocheting. Oh. And so I decided I would make blankets or Africans. Af Afghans. Afghans. 
Sorry, girls, you're gonna know what you get. But <clears throat> for some Christmas presents. So this one is. Well, you didn't have to say that part. I didn't have to, but I did. It's okay. I gotta ask them all. The wow, time. All you their, have all their calls really. Anyway. They just want to know crank that out. So this is Mallory's. She picked out these colors. I love green. So, and this is just like Daisy Farm Crafts smaller checked version. I just used her the uh, pattern and I made them big. This is, like this would be four. This would be four of them in hers. Oh yeah, yeah. I just made it big. It yeah. worked out good. So it's oh, it's, it's a fourteen, yeah, fourteen stitches across and twelve rows down. I think is how it is. That makes it. I mean, it looks like a perfect square to me. Mm -hmm. What's the stitch you're using? Uh, I don't remember what she calls it, but it's it's not a double crochet. It's not a single crochet. It might be called a half double crochet. Oh, I think that is the thing that she. I mean, does. that's what I'm calling it. It's yeah. a half double crochet because you make you start the double crochet. And then instead of pulling up and having three on top, you just pull that into the, the second loop and then you just pull through those two. It's a half double crochet. Yeah. <laughs> sure you crocheters could follow that, but I got lost. Oh, I probably confused. Every time I crochet, people. I have to, <laughs> I I have to like people. go on YouTube and learn every, all the stitches. And then once you learn them and then you're good, but. Yeah, but it's real soft and it is uh, out of. Man, it's soft. It smells good too. I love this yarn. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Just an acrylic um, yarn. Yeah, but it's really. I guess soft. that's the, the brand name. Of I love it. this yarn. It, well, it's Hobby Lobby's brand. I'm okay. pretty sure. I love this yarn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the call, this is Sage. Yeah, see Hobby Lobby, Maiden. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm doing it in. Oh, it's, it's nice and soft. So instead of doing, let's talk about this. Cut it. Cut off. Yeah. Instead of doing um. A, you were gonna like marl. I think the pattern for this that you were following. She did a dark and then a white. And then on the gingham check, she put them together and it made like a marled yeah. look. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing that, instead of holding double. Yeah, I had to do you double held, all the way through. Yeah, you would have had to do double all the way through. So she held single. I said, I like that variegated yarn. I mean, it looks like those two colors put together anyway. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing that, we just picked um, this variegated yarn and she just held her yarn single and did the gingham check with it. Well, I done it just like the runners that we did. Yeah. Oh, and I just make big. But the Daisy Farm work. Crafts pattern, you were supposed to be holding the yarn double, and then on the game to make the big one. Yeah, but I made it like the little one. Only I doubled. I made my block. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's made just That's like the saying. little one. Only it's just I just made it bigger. I added more stitches. I'm, I'm caught up with you. More rows. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it so much. I can't wait to yeah. snuggle up underneath. So there's nine nine blocks across. So I'll probably have to do at least eleven rows. And we'll then we're talking goes. about what border to put on it because she yeah, really know, yeah. likes the border that I put on these blankets I made for the girls. And I'm trying to tell her it's I did have some real intense. Some patterns but had a real pretty border on one for some of the other African. But well, we'll do that next time. We'll try to find a different border than the one I use because that's like knitting a whole other blanket. Well, yeah, you know the, the kit I ordered from Mary yeah, Maxim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it has a real pretty border on it. So we'll see what that looks like. And yeah, that might work. Because the one I used, man, I mean, seriously, it took me longer to do the border almost than it did to do the whole thing. Yeah, I tell you, it took you forever to do the border. It was I, this, it looked like ribbing, but you like crocheted like up 10 stitches and then back and then up and then back down the whole side. And then you went around the corner and did the whole, I mean, it was like every little rib was 20, it was 20 stitches. Yeah. You don't do it. And that was just on a small baby blanket. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. But yeah, that's all I have. I don't have any. No more whips. No more whips. Just, okay. Well, I mean my, you know, that other sweater. But I did do a couple. What other sweater? There. Oh, the anchor. The anchor. <laughs> I, but I'm since I get this yeah, one done, get I am gonna do the anchor before I start knitting. She's doing the anchor summer, and she's not working on it. Very I'm hard. wanting to really bad start another, but which one? Well, these. Oh, the future. Oh, yeah. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah. Oh hard okay so I guess we'll talk about future knits then you want to go first since you actually have like something oh going yeah. well I think I'm gonna do another love note that's what I think but you know me I changed my mind you know <laughs> I might do one of those again who knows and you never know about me but anyway <laughs> I, I, sh I showed this prettier. I showed this last week but I've got it all now mm, I've pretty? got it all purchased oh, yeah, a sweaters quantity a sweaters quantity of gloss, gloss DK, knit picks. What's the colorway? Oh, well, pine. Yep. That's what Pretty it's sure pine. That's what it says. Okay. And then I'm going to put a strand of a loft 
in it, which is, um, I think it's Angora. No, it's mohair, isn't it? It's mohair. It's super kid mohair and silk. Oh, it's got silk. So I'm going to put a strand of that. And then this, this is also merino wool and silk. Oh. So they're both real soft. They got that silk in there. Oh, that's pretty. Is so, it loft or? Oh, it's a loft. A loft. And this is the black. Yeah. So we were worried it was going to be super dark, but. Oh, yeah, I did it's swatch. Not. I actually did a swatch. We did a swatch. Or she did a swatch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you probably can't see it. Yeah, you can. You can. can you see, see the it. difference. There's, but it didn't make There's it with the black. And then there's with plain. And it's not too black because. No, it's not. Did I show the skirt I was going to wear it with? No. You talked about it. Can I show it? Where is it? It's right here. Oh, sure. No, you're not allowed to show it. Let me that one by the time. Okay. like I'm like this mean, crazy person. No, I, just, I don't want to take it from my crazy time. I told her when she got that yarn or the mohair, I said, you need to make a swatch because what if you like start that sweater and then it makes it super dark? Because sometimes when people put white mohair in, it makes it. It takes a dark yarn and makes it super light. So we've never used mohair, so I didn't know. And then she made this watch and it didn't make it dark at all. It just made it nice and soft. Okay, I purchased this from Chadwick's of Boston, which they have really nice. If you just like... I thought you made that. If you, didn't know, if you just like plaid skirts. So it's like a plaid with a black in it. It's got black Cartoon. and it's actually got this identical green. Mm. Pretty much identical green in it. So I so think that pretty. would be pretty. I didn't so get to wear it this year because we really didn't go anywhere too much. much. My... No, that time. Took a humongous drink and I'm about half of it out. <laughs> <laughs> so any... <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm really excited. I want to start it, but I want to finish the blue one and maybe the anchor before it starts. I might finish the blue one and then work on the anchor a you little don't... bit and then start it. You don't have to finish the blue one first. Don't tell me that because then I'll never get it done. I'm going to try to finish the blue one first, but the anchor may not get done you, before I start that. Why don't you do like I did with mine when I was making that Sorrel? I was like, okay, I'm going to finish one sleeve and then I'll work on something else for a while and then I'll go back to it. Why don't you do that? Like finish the body of your blue one. I could do that and then do the sleeves as it goes. And then work on the love note for a little bit and then maybe finish the body of your summer and then oh, yeah. work on your love note for a little bit. I could. The love note goes fast. But... It is going to be, I mean, the blue one is a winter sweater, so it is going to be something that I think you should. I either need to finish it now or not worry about it and have it for fall. That's true. Yeah. And I'd like to find. Whatever you do, I think you should either finish the blue one or finish the love note within the next month or two because it's winter. And the summer one you can work on in the spring. Yeah. You know. I'd like to find, because I'm always thinking sewing too, I'd like to find some fabric that goes with this blue to make like a skirt. Why do you want to wear that with a skirt? It won't. I don't think that'll look right with a skirt. I think it will. No, it's too. Because I always think about wearing them to church or something like that. Well, you can wear pants to church. I can, but I don't very often. But anyway, that's okay. I can wear it with jeans. It would look really. I think it would look really pretty with like a long, like long skirt. Like yeah, I don't know what kind of fabric, but like a long skirt all the way down, like a solid color. All the way down to the ground, almost. Oh, to make it look that look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might look okay. Yeah, but it wouldn't look cute with like a knee length skirt. It'd be too mm -hmm. no. It'd be too long for too a frumpy skirt. for a knee length skirt. Probably wouldn't. Knee length skirts need like short. cardigans or like yeah. The love notes are perfect for skirts. Yeah, because yeah. they're short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What else you got? Um. That no more acquisitions. That's it. No, I don't. No more whips. I have that. Mm -hmm. Hard. I find that hard to believe that you don't have any more whips. Well, I mean, I'm still working on my K a K faucet quilt. I've oh, only got quilting. five blocks quilted. <laughs> I'm not. I can't, hand quilting. I can't get into the hand, the hand quilting as much as I want to because I want to do that one hand quilting. Yeah. But uh, it seems like I can't get into that as much as I want to. And I still have my black quilt that needs quilted. But I think I'm going to send it off to the quilters. I'm Absolutely. not going to do that myself because it's just too much. And I've got a couple of future quilts. I've still got to come up with something for a graduation quilt for oh a boy. boy. Yeah, you don't have, you're running out of time. Yeah, because I, I have, to, I have to get them in. stained glass thing. I, I'll have to decide. That. I like that one. Because I have to get into the quilters mm -hmm. by mm. the last of March. March, yeah. But, so they'll have it done by graduation in like early June. Yeah, because it's a competition to get into the quilters around here. 
Oh, it's awful. The girl that I take <laughs> we to. We need to start doing that ourselves. She is backed up. I mean, she has got so many quilts. Let's buy a quilting friend. machine. Let's buy a quilting machine. Well, you fork up the money and we will. Fork up the money. <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> it would have to be You're the one that has money. Oh, I have money. I have money. Yeah. <laughs> As a funny story. We should tell that story. We should tell that story. <laughs> I was, we were at our daughter's in Michigan and um, she got a new microwave. It was really cool. It was a microwave or you could do, uh, what's that oven? Convection. Oven. Convection oven. You could do either one. I mean, it was really nice. It was over her stove. It was a really nice microwave. And I said, man, I need a new microwave. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into one of those. Yeah. And she looked at me and said, well, it's really expensive. It's pretty expensive, a lot more expensive than I bet you think it is, Mom. And I said, I have money. <laughs> I can buy a microwave. I have so, that I mean, much money, but you know what I'm saying. It's just like, it was just a funny if thing. If I want a microwave, I can buy a microwave. <laughs> yeah, so, well, it's a funny joke now. Because you, you guys money. all like died laughing. I wasn't yeah. there, but it's been like 10 years ago and we still, I have money. Every time one of us wants to buy something and the other one says something, we're like, I have money. <laughs> At least we, enough to buy a microwave. <laughs> maybe not much else, but a microwave. <laughs> not a quilting machine. Those are crazy. Oh, maybe. Expensive. I don't know. Someday, who knows? Will found us a used one one time on Craigslist or something and he was like, you guys are crazy if you don't buy this. Maybe he could find us another one. But at the time, we were one. like, I think I was, that was last year. I was pregnant. I was like, I'm not getting into that right now. Because, you know, there's a lot of people, they retire and they think, oh, I'm going to go into quilting. Or like, um, they, buy, they buy a brand new one with their retirement money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they don't learn it. Or like, Fair. unfortunately, you know, somebody might have one. They might pass away or something and their kids sell it. Or, yeah. You know. There's always reasons. I'm sure there's, used ones. there's a used one somewhere. I just don't want to get that used one that somebody sold because it was just <laughs> I hated it. We'd have to look online and just read reviews on that certain oh. type and before we made decisions. But yeah. yeah, that is something that we are maybe considering in the future. But it's not just the cost. You've got to have a place for it. But now that our barn but, is fairly. Yeah, we could come up with a place. Yeah. I really, we really want to do, um, a, we really want to, well, we'd like to do quilting because it's crazy. You can't even get your quilt into a quilter around mm -hmm. here. We'd like to do that. On one of those long arm, like automated things. And then we'd also maybe like to sell yarn one day. That's her dream. That's my dream. Mm -hmm. Because I love yarn. And we don't have any yarn shops around here. Like no, close. Not really. Not. The, the closest one is like an hour away and it's tiny and they hardly have anything. Yeah. So. That I mean, is our closest yarn shop besides Joanne's and Hobby Lobby and mm -hmm. Michael's. But we don't have. I mean, Hobby Lobby and they sell. I mean, I like that kind of yarn, but and we sometimes do you want to. Yeah, but sometimes you want to buy, like, nicer yarn, and you have to buy it online, and you don't always know what it's going to feel like or the color. Yeah. And so, we'd like to, and I want to dye yarn. I was, gonna, I was just going to say, are you going to talk about that? So, I mean, it's all over the place, hand dyers, you know, and I can't afford any of your yarn, so, <laughs> I was like, I mean, maybe, like, one or two skeins, but it's, it's so expensive, I can't get a sweater's quantity worth. It'd be so, $200. Oh, I mean, at least, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, man, I wonder if I could like get into that dyeing yarn because it's something that like I've I've tea stained things before and I actually kind of had a good time and, and enjoyed that. So I looked into I watched um, Nicole from Hiloco has a step by step videos of how to dye yarn and I watched it and I was like, man, we could definitely do that. That would be fun. So it's something I'm thinking about toying with and you know me, I'm toying with a lot of ideas. So it probably won't happen for years, but. I don't know it might. I don't know it might. Never know. Because that one, one kind of rang true with me. Like, man, I could actually do that. And then this I, summer, maybe. Yeah, and then I could like have my own hand dyed sweater that I made, and I wouldn't have to pay two hundred dollars for it. You know. Yeah, I wonder how much the I would call it vanilla yarn <laughs> costs. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. But also, um, it might cost a little bit to get set up because you'd yeah. have to buy. She talked about like getting a separate pot because you don't want to use like your actual cooking pots because the dye, the acid dyes, they're kind of they can be hazardous. And um I use acid dye at work too and I know it can be hazardous. So you wouldn't want to use a pot that you'd cook with. So you have to buy a pot or two, stainless steel. Mm -hmm. And then you got to buy like the citric acid and you got to buy the dye powder, which that probably is not a bit cheap. That's, yeah, so actually getting set up would probably cost me more, but then once you got set up, then you just you could like mix your colors and you know it wouldn't cost that much every time plus it would be like your own you, could... you know if you wanted a natural color i know i have seen and read where people for natural colors you 
there are weeds in there, things that you could boil and use those natural colors. Like oh, maybe weeds. <laughs> yeah, well, like I call them weeds, like goldenrod or well, I don't I've, know what they I've use. I've heard of people dyeing yard with food coloring. I don't know how consistent that would be, but if you just wanted to make a hat or something, who cares? You just have one skein. So I could, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not getting too serious about it. We don't have clue. I'm not getting too serious about it right now, but I do want to kind of dye yarn, and I just would love to sell yarn. I think that would be a great time. Yeah. So it would in, in the future. I've got two seven-month-old babies right now, so they turned seven months old today. It's oh, Valentine's it's Day. Day. Yep, it's Valentine's Day, the fourteenth. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day yes. to everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, but. Okay, I'm gonna move on from that. And we got way, yeah, we're done. way side note on that. It's like cozy up knit squirrel. <laughs> That's what they always say when they. <laughs> oh, is that what they say? <laughs> squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> like when they get like random tangent on something, they'll go squirrel. <laughs> I haven't noticed that. That's awful. I think it's from um, a movie or something. I don't know, but anyway. So <laughs> squirrel. Future knits and acquisitions for me. Um, okay, let's see. I, I talked about this last time, but I didn't have the yarn. So I want to make this hat. It's the Celtic knot and braid hat, and this is black and white, but the dark is green and the white is like an Aran white, and I'm making it for somebody else. So here's my yarn. It calls for chunky yarn. So I got the 220 um, Aran, and this is, I forget what the, oh shoot, I forget what the color name was. Is it not on the wrapper? No, it doesn't put, they don't put it on the wrapper, so I forget, but it's Number. just, I think it's just called Aran, Aran white. I think. Anywho, and then here it is in like a, it looks really kind of aqua-ish on yeah, that camera. Yeah, it looks on there. But it's just a hunter green color, and it's the Aaron, so it's like a five weight, like a chunky weight. And then, um, so I'm going to use that to make that Celtic hat, and then I bought this one just because I, I liked it, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I do have a couple of chunky hat patterns that I have saved on Ravelry that I might whip up a hat for either me or, or the girls or something. Just I just wanted to work with that yarn. And... You'll probably have enough left over there. You can mix them if you want to. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Ooh, that heart hat. Doesn't it call for chunky yarn? Yeah, it does. Ooh, that heart hat that you had that'd last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might make that. Okay, anyway. So, ooh, sorry. I mean, shake the camera. Those are um, my acquisitions. Plus, I got this cute little sticker. I did get my heart hat done. I forgot that. Oh, where is it? Downstairs. Oh, shoot. Somewhere. Well, show it next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got this cute little sticker for Valentine's Day from one of the doctors at my office. And I don't know if she... Did that just turn a different color when I held that up? It did. I don't know if she picked this out on purpose to give to me or if she just passed them out and I randomly got one with a girl knitting on a top of a little lamb. But I thought that was adorable. I don't know what I'm going to stick it on, but... I'll stick oh, it on she picked that out for you. You think? Because they were just passing them out. I, I haven't got a chance to talk to her in person, so... Oh, well. Isn't that cute? That's yeah, cute. I'll stick it on my knitting book or something. Mm -hmm. A pattern. A pattern book. And then, okay, so future knits. Oh, I'm so excited. So I have yarn ordered for this. Um, I actually ordered, so this is the Bean and Olive Grown Up by Andrea Mowry. It just got released like a few days ago. And that stupid ring of the lie is making it hard for me to <laughs> show you there. But anyway, so... Um, the yarn, the pink yarn, I actually, I didn't order it from the company that she used because I wanted to um, get it ordered like ASAP. And when I, when I saw the like, on Instagram, she just like talked about this yet and released the pattern yet. Mm. I saw it and I was like, I'm making that immediately. Like I have to. So I went to that lady's uh, Etsy shop and she didn't have any of that yarn in stock. Mm. And I knew I'd miss it. I knew that as soon as that pattern got released, like the yarn would be goes. Yeah, gone. So, or I just figured it would be. But anyway, so I found, I, I didn't really look for it. I was just scrolling on Instagram like the next day and I saw a pink and purple speckled yarn from another hand dyer. Um, I think it's Yarn Cafe Creations that I ordered from. It's, I think it's, yeah, Yarn Cafe Creations. And she had a pink with a speckled yarn and I ordered two skeins of it. So I'm gonna. I think I'll have enough to do at least my whole color work on my sweater, maybe, and maybe maybe make a little bit, have a little bit left over. And then the gray yarn, I I would really like to order it all hand hand dyed because it would be so special. But it's I can't afford it. So I ordered some Cladborn. Oh okay. The um, merino because mm -hmm. the hand dyed yarn that I ordered for the pink is a merino. So that same stuff that you're using for your yeah. blue one. I ordered a gray, like a 
it's not light light gray but it's not charcoal gray it's like in between mm -hmm. like a pewter color mm -hmm. oh. and so that's gonna be my next sweater for myself and then I'm going to make the bean and olive the regular one the kids one for the girls what and size you'll make those I'm probably gonna make um I don't know what size 18 months well I can't remember what size that she uses here let's see oh yeah she has one to two years, so six to 12 months and then one to two years. So I'll probably make the one to two year. Yeah. And then next winter we can all match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not in a hurry to make the girls. Um, if I have enough of that pink yarn left to make one of them, I might start it. But um, I don't think I'm going to necessarily make the girls the same as mine. It looks like Rick Rick. That's adorable. That little thing. It's there. like a chevron thing. Yeah. But yeah, I might, I'm might. i not going to make the girls gray, I don't think. Cute. I think I might make one of them aqua with pink stripes and then maybe I one of them. Know, I like, think the gray would just be so classic. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to make three of the same sweaters. I'm already oh. making that for myself. Oh, and you I know see. me, I get bored. So I, I think I might make an aqua colored one. Like a, you know, like that yeah. white girly aqua color with pink stripes. And then maybe a peach one with... I don't know what color stripes. She says Depends on how. And peach. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have any yarn in mind or anything, so that could change. But anyway, I'm definitely making almost this exact same thing for myself. And then I'm going to make this pattern, but in different colors for the girls. So those are my like immediate future knits. And then this is, okay, so I was talking earlier about my mother-in-law and she's, this sweater is going to be too big on her. So I've had this pattern in my favorites for like, over a year now mm -hmm. and I just keep looking at it keep looking at it keep looking at it but it's fingering weight yarn I've never made anything with fingering weight yarn and I just keep putting it off I keep thinking no no I don't I can't do it I don't want to get started on that you know blah 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 so but I keep looking at it keep looking at it and I almost decided to make it for my mother-in-law before I started this one but then I like chickened out and didn't do it and made her this one which is like the total opposite because this is like worsted weight on big needles but she will like this because they used to keep bees and make their own honey and make their own beeswax and oh. she used to make candles so I think I'm gonna make it for her. this is the wool and honey by Andrea Mowry again and oh, her patterns are awesome and it's just if you haven't seen it on Ravelry I think it's been out a while it's cool let's see if I can find a front view of it yeah here so can you see the like honeycomb oh it's so so anyway, I think my mother-in-law will absolutely think that's so cool, but it is fingering weight. So it's going to be a commitment, but it's small because it'll be for Liz and she's little. So it won't <laughs> be like I'm making it for myself. Small, yeah. So, <laughs> but it is knit with the same yarn, the shell, or the, it's Brooklyn Tweed Loft. Oh. It's the same company stuff, only it's the fingering weight sure. size. So it'll be the same stuff that you made your weekend drive. Yeah. Real lightweight. And, oh, yeah. That'd be nice. And it's all American made. And I like Liz that. will really like that, I too. like that idea. I don't know where to get yarn hardly that's American made. Well, I think all their yarn is. Yeah, I know it is. Brooklyn Tweed. Mm -hmm. And it's not all that same stuff. Mm -hmm. So they've got different types of wool. A company so. I would like to get some yarn of, off of sometime is Fleece and Harmony. Oh, yeah. Canada. To, yeah, to promote them. Because, I mean, Canada. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be really That'd cool to cool. have some of their yarn. Yeah, even if you just bought enough to make a little hat or something, it'd be cool to have. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyway, that's all of my future dream knits, and I think that's everything that we were going to talk about today. So, yeah, I'm done. I, don't, I didn't have that much to talk about. So. Um, <laughs> one thing fun, um, I got my girls' six months pictures taken a few weeks ago, and I got them back this week, and oh, they're so cute. So, I will insert my favorite. <laughs> Maybe. No, I will. I will. And I'll make sure it's in there. I'll insert a couple of the, or at least one of my favorite ones of them yeah. here. So oh. you guys, because I haven't showed them in a while. So no. I want to put them in some of their sweaters one of these days and insert a little clip onto one of our podcasts that I'm wearing some of their sweaters. Maybe they can wear those little old-fashioned sweaters in one of them. What little old-fashioned The ones sweaters? I made, the old-fashioned style sweaters. Oh, The pink yeah. and the, the ice cream cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we always go with ice cream cone. Yeah. Cone. So, and then they're, um, in a few months, they'll be big enough to wear the, the sweet strawberry pea and the strawberry yeah. ones. So, we'll do that for yeah. sure. Next fall, probably. Yeah. But anyway, that's it for us today. Yeah, Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.